Good morning, how are you? And no, this yellow isn't because I'm wearing a sou'wester, though to be honest, if it carries on raining much longer, I think we're going to need it here in Oxfordshire, the heart of Oxfordshire as well. There was a load of misery around because of the floods, obviously, but there was a story that made me and a lot of other people smile, and that was when a family pet was rescued. There's a fantastic picture of this dog on a little float going past with rescue services all the way around it. Really, really lovely story that will touch your heart, so have a little look at it and let yourself smile just for a change. It was an act of charity, I suppose, that did that, and it was an interesting thing that the data came out last year, which said that companies that supported charities had increased profitability. I know that sounds counterintuitive that if they're focusing on something outside of the business, maybe they're not going to make money, but it's not true. The data says it's not true, so that must be true. Now, on the subject of charities and doing good and all the rest of it, I had an amazing experience this week, which is that by a happy accident, I found a company who were able to look after the migration of my two sites, iNewsYou.com and NowYou'reTalking.com, my personal website. When it was moved to the last providers two years ago, it was a nightmare, not necessarily their fault, but just one of those things that the stresses of it were just, I mean, my hair was turning grey because of it. This chap has stepped in this time. It's been completely seamless. I mean, I hope you didn't notice anything because it happened earlier in the week. And just so quick and easy. So I'm giving him, it's the first of two plugs, actually, because I found two great companies this week. His name is Gavin Jones, and the company is Rising Fifth. So like anything, have a look at the links at the bottom of this piece. And I urge you, if you've got any technical needs whatsoever, give our Gav a go. He's absolutely brilliant, and he will make it absolutely painless and very inexpensive as well. So definitely worth getting in touch with. I love the story that Tim uploaded this week, which was a, really a homily about uh, whether or not you give up or knowing when to give up. And it was a story about a man who works so hard and then he's just three feet away from success and he finally gives up and walks away. Really, really interesting because I think we've all known people like that. On the other hand, we've also known people who should walk away or things that we should walk away from and not quite manage to do it. Well, sometimes you've got to give yourself a kick up the rear end and just bite the bullet and do it. That's what I do with my website, and it's turned out to be a hugely successful idea. So I urge you to take courage in both hands and do it. On the other hand, somebody uploaded a brilliant story about when lip syncing goes bad in the films. Really, really funny. And this, I mean, Sean Bean, renowned Geordie, he is now speaking with an American accent. Or is he? No, he's not. It's a really, really funny thing, so have a little look at that too. Now, school holidays coming up, and if you haven't already got kids home because of rain and all the rest of it, you have got a full week, and in some cases two weeks, to entertain them. How are you going to do it? Well, why don't you get a bit of paper and a pencil and a tin of beans? Have a little look at the thing that says how to draw a can of baked beans. It's brilliant and it will keep them occupied for hours and it's free, give or take the pencil. Now the second plug I'm going to give this week is about a company I found who are just brilliant. They're a design agency called Cubiquity. Got none of the pretension that you normally get with this OKR crowd of people. They're just brilliant. They do more than they say on the label. And they're, they're just, I'll just have a look at what they're going to be doing for iNewsU in the next few weeks. Absolutely brilliant. And finally, a bit of advice to save your aspidistras, gentlemen. Valentine's Day. It's here! Happy Valentine's Day! I obviously had to find my way through loads of flowers and chocolates and cards and bodies lying on the ground saying, take me. But that George Clooney, I've told him before, is to step away from me. Anyway, if you put Valentine's Day, in fact, if you just put Valentine into the search engine, about four different clips come up. The first one is the one that made me laugh, and it's three men in black and white. They're not actually old. It just happens to be in black and white as part of the thing, singing about Valentine's Day. It's absolutely brilliant, really, really funny. So have a little look at that, and at least make your love smile if you haven't bowled her over with all these flowers and love and attention. And gentlemen, let me just give you a tiny little bit of advice. Those who give loving tend to get loving, so give generously. Have a wonderful day, whatever you do or don't do, and I'll see you next week. Keep trying. <laughs>